this uh, recording will be about the campaigns in Field of Glory that I've created. Um, there are seven campaigns uh, currently available, and I hope to add another one soon. Which will... So, to get these campaigns, you go to the Download Community Scenarios button, and you'll see them listed in, in this list here. Um, so, um, for instance, there's Thrace, the Final Frontier, which is uh, one about the Roman campaign of Thrace, in Thrace. This is uh, Aegisilus, um, the Ziphicrates, the Rise of the Adrisian Thracian Empire, which is the one I'm going to do now. There's the Lizzie Marcus campaign. Um, and there's an Alexander the Great. Uh, and also a Darius campaign. So you've got a lot, of, lot to choose from. So once you've installed those, they will appear um, in this list. And so as you'll see here, there's the next one that I'm going to be doing, which is Chandra Gupta. Um, but for now, I'll be doing the um, rise of the Adrisian Thracian Empire. So this campaign follows the military career of Sitalkes the Great and his father Teres, who together conquered the whole of Thrace for the first time and uh, made the, the many tribes into one nation. There may have been a million Thracians divided into, up into 40 tribes, but uh, they'd previously spent most of the time fighting each other, um, which meant they were easily... Uh, defeated or taken over by uh, the Greeks and the Macedonians um, and later by the Romans. But um, in this case it's the Thracians uh, uniting so we will be getting Satalkis to conquer the whole country um, and uh, then he will then uh, invade Macedonia. Um, this all happened in the 5th century BC. So let's launch it. Um, <clears throat> so this is where Thrace is on the map. It's um, now covered by the countries of uh, Bulgaria and uh, Turkey, or Western, uh, the European Turkey, and um, Romania, and part of Serbia, and uh, uh, Macedonia, and part of Greece. Um, so um, we're going to put it on Legate difficulty. Um, let's get it going. So the first battle is, uh, we're going to assume, we don't actually know um, a lot about his, his career, but we do know um, that he uh, did actually have a large number of the Getai in his army. They formed the second most important um, cavalry contingent. So he must have either conquered them or made an agreement with them. So we're going to assume that he conquered them. So the first thing we're going to do is get Sitalkis to ride north and attack the Ghetto. And the Ghetto are reputed to be the bravest and most noble of all the Thracians. And they um, were very similar to the Scythians or Scythians and in that their army was mostly horse archers. So they would be a very useful addition to the, the Thracian army, which at the moment is mainly javelin arm, light cavalry and peltasts. So these armies are ones that are, were created just for this campaign, so you won't find them in, in the, uh, if you just run a normal type of um, uh, battle. So, and, and there are many things in this uh, list that you won't find there also. For instance, I've put in uh, Prodromoi, because there's no actual Thracian uh, cavalry figure. Um, so in this case, the there, there is evidence that the Thracians used lances, 
uh, or at least um, light lances, uh, and also they had a pre preference for hand-to-hand -hand combat. So we've given them uh, one in indifference the people who would disagree to that. We've only got a very small number, so we just uh, we'll just give them one. Um, and also the Thracian Light Cavalry, um, which here we've given them uh, swords and also made them slightly better quality because they were in uh, great demand by foreign uh, nations as mercenaries. Um, and it's sort of the reason that not only was it did they want them because they were good fighters, but because of their style of fighting. They, they fought in a wedge and they uh, probably preferred to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Um, but um, we're going to assume that maybe some of them weren't all the same quality, so you know we'll have a lesser quality, just the ordinary light Japan horse as well. And of course, the um, uh, Getai have got lots of light cavalry, so um, we're going to need all the cavalry we can get. Um, the actual Thracian list um, is for the later period, and uh, when the Thracians or some of them started using the uh, Romphaya, or Rom um, and uh, we don't know if any of them at all would have used it during this period. Um, so, um, but we, it's possible that maybe a few did, so we're allowing them just to have one of that type. Uh, that's also the only, currently the only Thracian troop type available in the um, uh, Field of Glory unless you make him yourself, like I have in this case. So here, for instance, um, I've created some Thracian spearmen um, because um, the Thracians fought as peltas and also as long spearmen. Um, and so the theory is that the, pel the, the peltas would have um, uh, stayed amongst the ranks of the spearmen and then rushed out to attack the enemy and then fight, thrown their javelins and then rushed back behind the lines of the spearmen. Uh, the spearmen wouldn't have looked like this. Um, they would just had a curved uh, crescent shield, the pelter, and uh, certain, probably no armor. Uh, but that's all we've got available at the moment. In the future, um, there will be Thracian Peltas figures available in Field of Glory. Um, also, because the Thracians are um, it seemed, uh, were generally regarded as good warriors and good fighters. Um, we've got um, one here that is a superior javelin, um, because that's what they were uh, thought of. But of course, they were they did fight in a sort of tribal manner, so that would have mean that the bulk of the men would have been uh, of the average quality. So we've still got uh, ordinary, regular foot and. There are also stories of the um, Thracians having um, uh, baggage or women in their, in their rear ranks. Uh, the women would uh, scream and shout at the men and, and make fun of them and, and just generally encourage them to fight. Um, so that's why we have the poorly armed rabble. Um, now the, the Thracian peltasts um, were look made from Roman figures, so that's why they look a bit Roman. Um, but they uh, are superior javelinmen who are also protected. Um, so we'll just uh, add a couple of archers and uh, some more spearmen maybe. Uh, it still leaves us with 34. Okay, so I've actually uh, already I've done the deployment and uh, I've saved it. So I'll just load the army up. There's deployment. And here we have it. Okay. 
So this is a, a small battle, so there's not very many troops, but um, it's uh, going to be quite different from your normal Field of Glory battle in that there are no heavy troops involved and masses of light troops. So on this side, I've deployed the, um, the light cavalry because there's a lot of uh, open ground here. Um, and I've put the light cavalry in a, in a, as an experiment, I put them in a sort of a wedge formation, which is how they would have deployed in real life. Uh, and over here where there's a fair amount of difficult terrain, I've put all the, the light troops, uh, the, the, um, the light foot and the pelter and the medium foot. All right, let's see what happens. And here we have the Gesic army. So, in the Gatic army, you can see here we've got horse archers and they've got a few javelin horse as well because they're Thracian and we, although it said they, were, they did only fight as horse archers, you can't discount the fact that the, they had some javelin with them. Um, and they've got some of these Scythian types, you know, the Nomad light horse archers, which are really good in hand-to-hand -hand combat and also the Nomad these, this type of nomad horse archer, um, which are quite dangerous again in hand to hand combat. Um, now, they've also got a special um, uh, noble, the type, the Getic Noble Cavalry, because there are uh, illustrations uh, in the uh, battle of um, Getic nobles who were completely. Uh, encased in armour from head to toe, although the horses weren't armoured, um, this is the best we can do. So um, we have allowed them to have just one of those, one unit of those types of uh, troops. And of course they've got a few Thracian Peltas, but not quite so many. Uh, lots more archers, slingers. <laughs> 